Hi, friends. Oh. Sorry, someone's calling me. Uh, I'll silence my phone. I can't believe I didn't do that before we started filming. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, oh, yeah. Hi, friends. It's Jackie Monastra, your children's... Are you kidding me? Ma'am, I thought I silenced it, but I guess... I guess I didn't. Okay, we shouldn't have any any problems now. All right, let's try again. Hi, friends. It's your children's pastor, Jackie Minostra. Today we are talking about... Are you kidding me? Wait, this isn't... No way. Hello? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I can... I'll, I'll write that down for them. All right. Hold on. Let me make sure I get it right. Okay. Um, all right. Anything else? We're all good? Okay. Thanks. Yeah. I'll talk to you later and I'll make sure I tell them. Okay. Bye. All right. That was Mr. Alex who had a super important note for you guys. But before I read it to you, we've got some stuff to talk about. Today we're talking about someone whose life changed, whose story was rewritten when they answered a very important call. We are talking about Moses and the burning bush. Let's jump in. Open your Bibles with me to Exodus chapter 3. We're going to read verses 1 through 15. All right, ready? Chapter 3, verses 1 through 15. Here we go. One day Moses was tending the flock of his father-in-law Jethro the priest of Midian. He led the flock far into the wilderness and came back to Sinai, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a blazing fire from the middle of the bush. Moses stared in amazement. Though the bush was engulfed in flames, it did not burn up. This is amazing, Moses said to himself. Why isn't the bush burning up? I must go see. When the Lord saw Moses coming to take a closer look, God called to him in the middle of the bush, Moses, Moses, here I am, Moses replied. Do not come any closer, the Lord warned. Take off your sandals for you are standing on holy ground. I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. When Moses heard this, he covered his face because he was afraid to look at God. Then the Lord told him, I have certainly seen the oppression of my people in Egypt. I have heard their cries of distress because of their harsh slave drivers. Yes, I am aware of their suffering. So I have come down to rescue them from the power of the Egyptians and lead them out of Egypt into their own fertile and spacious land. It is a land overflowing with milk and honey, the land where the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites now live. Look, the cry of the people of Israel has reached me, and I have seen how harshly the Egyptians abuse them. Now go, for I am sending you to Pharaoh. You must lead my people, Israel, out of Egypt. But Moses protested to God, Who am I to appear before Pharaoh? Who am I to lead the people of Israel out of Egypt? God answered, I will be with you. And this is your sign that I am the one who has sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God at this very mountain. But Moses protested, If I go to the people of Israel and tell them, The God of your ancestors has sent me to you, they will ask me, What is his name? Then what should I tell them? God replied to Moses, I am who I am. Say this to the people of Israel, I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, Say this to the people of Israel, Yahweh the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my eternal name, my name to remember for all generations. This brings us to point number one. God is calling you. Much like how Mr. Alex called me again and again with an important message, God's calling you too. He called Moses to listen and obey, to follow him in his plan to free the Israelites from slavery. He calls you to important things too. 
He calls you to change the world through loving God and loving others. He wants to change your heart to be more like His heart, to love those who are hard to love, to care for those who need help, and to have compassion on a world that isn't very compassionate. He wants to change your family, too. He wants to create peace in your home between you and your brothers and sisters. He wants to change the world, and he wants to use you to do that. Which brings us to point number two. Answer the call. When someone's calling you, you answer the phone. God asked Moses to trust in I am, to trust in God and obey his calling to go ask Pharaoh to let the Israelites go. Moses did not ignore God's call. He answered it by saying, here I am. He was ready to listen and obey God when it was scary and even when it meant facing Pharaoh. If you don't answer, you miss the super duper important message. What was the message that Mr. Alex had for you? Are you ready? Here it is. It says, God knows you, loves you, and wants to guide you. God wants to use you to change the world. And where you start is by listening and obeying his words to love him and others. Are you listening when he says he loves you? Are you listening when he says he knows you? Are you listening when he says that he created you for amazing things? Are you listening when he's asking you to love him and love others? God is speaking to you. Answer the call. Listen and obey God. Listen and do the things he is asking you to do. Listen and love God and love people. All right, enjoy the rest of your Sunday morning. Bye, friends.